Welcome to our help video on PractiTest's Advanced Custom Filters. Beyond basic filters, there are a variety of custom filter types that allow you to fully match PractiTest elements to your workflow and boost your efficiency. We'll start with advanced filter criteria and subfilters. For this example, we'll be using linked list fields as the base of our filters and subfilters. We'll start in the Fields tab under Settings and scroll down to the Custom Fields, where we have already added, for the sake of this example, a custom field of type list called Operating System and a linked list field called Browser. When we click to view Operation System Setup, we can see it is of list type and has three values, Windows, Mac, or Linux, and that it is linked to the test entity. When we view the browser field setup, we can see that it is of type linked list and linked to the parent operating system. We can also see that for each value of the operating system, we added a list of values for the browser. Below that, we see this field has been linked to the test module, where we want it to appear when we create or edit a test. Back in the test library, when we enter any test, we'll see our operating system field and the linked browser field created. So now, for any operating system value I define under the operating system field, the linked browser field will display its linked values to select in a drop-down list format. For example, when I select Windows, I can select the linked sub-features Firefox, Edge, or Chrome. After saving, we are directed back into the test library, where we'll proceed to create the parent filter of our hierarchy. We'll add in the new filter name, in the filter criteria, we'll define operating system is Windows and click on the OR query to add another operating system value. So in this case, Linux, which means tests under this filter will now be those under Windows or Linux. We'll just add the field to the test library's grid view here and click Create Filter. Back in the test library, we can see that nine tests fall under our filters definition. All are related to the values Linux or Windows for the operating system field. We'll continue with creating a subfilter for the filter we just created. I'll right click on the icon next to the filter and select Create Subfilter. We'll add in the new filter name. In the filter criteria, we'll define Browser is Chrome. We'll just add the browser field to the test library's grid view here and click Create Filter. Back in the test library again, we can see that five tests fall under our subfilters definition. All are related to Windows or Linux operating systems and have the browser value Chrome. Hierarchical filters do not necessarily have to be based on linked lists. For this example, we'll right click on our subfilter here and create a new subfilter and name it Smoke and Integration. Remember that this will relate only to the tests whose browser field value is either Chrome or Edge. And then under the filter criteria, we'll select the test level field is smoke. And we'll also use the and query here to add the testing phase field is integrations. So now this subfilter will show me tests related to the Chrome browser, operating system Linux or Windows, and relate to both the smoke test level and integration testing phase. To finish off, we'll be sure to add these fields to the test library grid view for convenience, and then click Create. Back in the test library, we can see we have one test that falls under my sub-filter criteria. It is related to Windows operating system, Chrome browser, test level is smoke, and it is in the integration testing phase.